Well, thanks, Coach Wiseman, for joining us. Uh, first, you know, what do you make of the last year? You know, the team hasn't been able to play. Practice has been limited. You know, what have you learned as a coach and, and, and as a person through all of this? Well, I've learned that uh, I really like my team. Uh, we spend a lot of time on Zoom meetings like this and uh, doing things that we're not accustomed to. Um, or that maybe we haven't done in years past, uh, given the new protocols and rules. Um, we've kind of said as a staff, if, if we were ever have to go into a pandemic uh, with a team, this would be the team that we wanted to do it with. Uh, we have a lot of young players um, with, with uh, ambitions to, to play this game at a really high level. And they come with a lot of energy every single day, no matter what it is that we're doing. And, and they're fun to be around. Um, uh, so my take is I, I just feel like I know each one of my players um, a lot better than 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 before the pandemic started. That's for sure. You lost this summer in terms of the guys being able to go out and play in those small regional summer leagues. As a staff, how did you combat that to try to keep them from losing some of their sharpness and, and their development time? So so we talked. Um, as a staff and as a team very early, probably towards the end of March when we realized that this was, this was going to be a minute um, that we were going to be shut down. Um, and we kind of came up with a goal like uh, whenever we come out of the pandemic, at least from the soccer side of things, meaning be able to play games again, we want to be further along than our opponents. Right. And so what does that look like exactly? Well, um, we have to be willing to, to change and adapt daily. Um, you know, one of those situations was was not being able to play on summer summer soccer teams, um, and um, some guys, uh, you know, locally. I mean, we, we have we have seven guys that are from local high schools here in the Kalamazoo greater area, and, and we have thirteen West Michigan guys. Um, add in our our internationals who who didn't leave the country that stayed here in Kalamazoo during the whole time, and. Um, you know, we were very fortunate to, to, to have those guys um, training regularly here in some of the um, facilities locally, um, continuing to try to work on their development um, individually. Um, you know, we did a lot of things as far as communication with our players to try to keep, uh, you know, their sanity. Uh, you know, guys are used to playing, you know, almost 40 games a year, and now we're coming up on a year since we ha since we since we've played a game, um, so I don't think there's any foolproof plan. I just think that we tried to adjust and adapt the best that we can and, and provide, um, you know, solutions where we can and suggestions where we can. At, at the same time, trying to be as safe as possible. You you lost quite a few contributors. Um, but you also gained some talented freshmen. What's the makeup of the team look like? So, um, you know, we only have three seniors, right? All of which have been here for a long time. Um, you know, Skinner is our captain. He'll be a three-year starter. And, and Liam has been here. This is his third year as well. Uh, he'll be a, a two-year starter. Both of them came uh, via the, the transfer window. Um, the, the makeup of our team is, is mostly freshmen and sophomores. Uh, if you look at that, I, I think that we have 22 of our 30 guys are freshmen and sophomores. So one might think that's uh, a very young team, and, um, and it is, but uh, several of those freshmen and sophomores are red shirt players, and so they've been here either two or three years. Um, and then a lot of the true freshmen or sophomores, um, at least the sophomore standpoint, they've played a lot of minutes last year in 2019. You know, you look at Charlie Sharp and Brendan Creek, they were both first team all Mac guys and, and, and Charlie being the Mac freshman year for the first time in the history of our program. You look at Isaac Walker, a red shirt sophomore now. Uh, I think he was nine, three and two as a, as a first year as a starting goalkeeper. Um, that's the best first year starting goalkeeper record in the history of our program. Um, so, so, so although we're young, our young players have a lot of experience. Um, uh, the makeup of our team is one that uh, there's a lot of energy and, and an excitement around it. And, uh, you know, they come to training every single day right now, uh, ready to work. And uh, they want to test themselves against uh, the very best competition out there. And uh, we're certainly excited to get things going. 
you lost a guy that was um, really just a shining example of your program in Anthony Bowie. How do you replace somebody like that, not just on the field, but also from a team culture aspect? Yeah. I don't think that you can replace Anthony Bowie, especially when you talk about what he brought to our program in every phase. Um, you know, I think that uh, we need to reference players like Anthony Bowie to our current roster often. Um, like when he was playing, we used to reference guys like uh, Zach Bach and Drew Shepard, and, um, Brandon By. But, um, you know, we need to to make sure they understand, you know, the history of our program and Anthony Bowie being one of the very best. Uh, he's definitely left his mark on some of our younger players, too. Um, but, but we definitely can't replace him. And now, now we'll just be different. You know, um, we have players that can step into to his role on this team. Uh, they're going to play, you know, that wing position a little differently than, than Anthony would, but uh, uh, they're ready to kind of spread their wings and, and see the impact and, and see the, the you know, the, the, what they can leave on our program. And, and when you look at some players that might fill those roles, I mean, you look at guys like, uh, uh, you know, Max Keenan, I, I think he had a good first year. He's really ready to step up. You know, Pepe Martinez, he's in his fifth year. Can he, can he be a significant player? Uh, not just a spot player now. Um, you know, Eric Connerty, you know, he had a good first year as a Bronco scoring four or five goals. And now is he really ready to break out and do what we think he's capable of doing? Uh, a combination of any of those players can really step up and, and, and fill the void that Anthony left. Uh, but I don't think there's any replacing them. We'll, we'll, we'll just look a little differently in, in, in that position. You start off with the uh, exhibition against Xavier. As a coach, how do you kind of temper the guys emotions. I mean, obviously they're going to be beyond excited to be able to line up against an opposing team for the first time in over a year. Um, you know, how do you keep them from getting a little too amped up and, and, and maybe that kind of translating into their play? Yeah, that's a very good question. I mean, I've never come off of a year break of playing games myself. So I think that uh, some of this we're going to have to adapt and learn as we go, but uh, you know, just, I have to mentally prepare as a coach that we're going to have some really good moments in our first exhibition match. And we're going to be, we'll probably have some very poor moments and maybe be able to accept some of those poor moments a little bit, a little, be a little bit more tolerant than I would probably be in years past and, 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 and just ease into it. Um, but, you know, the standard in our program is very high. Um, you know, I expect that we'll, we'll get through those moments and, and we'll, we'll start to look like, uh, like ourselves. And, um, you know, we're using the exhibition much differently than we have in, in previous seasons. I mean, our, our first team guys have not played a game in a year. <laughs> so, you know, when we look into this exhibition, it's not about trying to get everybody minutes and see where he's at. We're, we're trying to get our first team guys minutes and, and letting them play a game together and, and seeing what they look like. And, and maybe your first round of uh, reserve players um, against a very good opponent against Xavier, somebody we're familiar with. And, um, you know, our, our, our COVID protocols align with a lot of the Big East schools, and that's why you see a lot of the Big East schools in our non-conference and exhibition portions of the seasons. And um, they'll be a good test for us, for sure. And, um, you know, they've already had an exhibition match against fellow Mac uh, Bowling Green, and so they might be a little further along as far as working out the kinks, but uh, we certainly look forward to the challenge. All right, thanks for joining us, Coach. Okay, thanks. Go Broncos.